In this episode, I'm gonna give you some of my biggest and best tips on how to get over your fear of talking to complete strangers about your product, service, or business. So stay tuned. Welcome to episode 146. My name is Tanya Eliza, and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly, designing a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a brand new training episode and free resource for you and your business each and every week. Now, I remember when I first got started in network marketing back in 2009, and I ran out of all of my friends and family to talk to, and my upline, my mentor, they said, hey, go out there and find new people to talk to. And this was even before social media. So I was like, okay, well, where do I go? Coffee shops, shopping malls, and I just start random conversations with people. And even on social media, I'm like, how do I start random conversations with people? And I was actually pretty intimidated to do so. I'm naturally, fun fact, an introvert, uh, and you know, not really that extrovert, social, like start conversation type people. Uh, I envy those kind of people actually, but I learned how to make this process a lot more comfortable for me, and I learned how to get over the fear of feeling like I was going out there hunting for people, hunting for business, because to me that seemed a little bit disingenuine and I wanted to make that process a whole lot more comfortable. Plus I just wanted to get over the fear that I had about doing it that was holding me back. So what I did was I changed the word prospecting to making new friends. And so it was a mindset shift for me that has allowed me to do what I need to do to go out there and drum up business. So for me, the word prospecting was associated with like a disingenuine act. It's just weird, I, I know. Uh, but it really helped me when I changed that to going out there and making friends and helping people, right? So there's a couple things that I did I wanna share that I think might really help you, but that's the first thing that I did that you might wanna try is instead of going out there prospecting, just look at it as going out there and starting conversation to make new friends. Now, if you are naturally an introvert, kind of like me, is it going to be uncomfortable in the beginning? Yes, it'll still be a little bit uncomfortable, but at least it made it better inside of like, you know, my moral alignment, if you will, going out there making new friends, which is a whole lot easier for me to, to think about when I went out there. Um, but the more you do it, the better it gets and the easier it becomes for you, especially if you follow these next couple of tips that I'm about to share with you. So when I was new in my network marketing business, I thought that I needed to tell everybody how great my product was and that was how I started conversations with people. And it's not really about my product or your product or your service or my service or what we're selling. It's not about going out there and getting people to buy our product, it is, but it's more about finding a need and letting your product, service, or business be the solution to that need. And how do you find that need is you ask questions. Now, if you're sitting in front of somebody or you're standing in front of somebody or you're on social media with somebody and they're telling you that they have this problem or they have this need, and then you come in and use your product or service as the solution to that, the whole entire process becomes more genuine. It feels better. It feels less salesy. And now you can go out there with the mindset of I'm actually helping people versus I'm trying to sell something to make a quick buck with people and that helped me tremendously to get over the fear of going out there and essentially prospecting or making new friends. So how do you know if somebody has a need or how do you find the need from somebody to present your product, service, or business as a solution to that? Well, you gotta ask questions. You gotta start conversations by asking questions. Um, and the, the biggest thing for me is even before I dive into asking questions, I like to genuinely compliment the person that I've started that conversation with. Once you genuinely compliment somebody, the conversation just opens up to a whole nother level and it makes it that 
much more, uh, it makes it that much easier to converse back and forth because they like you because you've, gave, you've given them a genuine compliment. So anytime I start a conversation with somebody, I like to try to find something genuine that I can compliment them on. If I'm in person with them, typically for me, because I like clothes and fashion and jewelry and shoes, um, if they have something that I can genuinely compliment them on that, I will. Uh, or also if there's somebody standing in the shopping line with a, a, a child and they're cute or they're doing something funny, I might use that as the way to start conversation as well. So find a way to genuinely compliment. If you're on social media, you can go to their profile and you can see some of the pictures that they post or some of the quotes that they share and try to find something that you can compliment them to start the conversation from there. Uh, once you, st you compliment somebody, uh, the fear should completely alleviate inside of that conversation because they are so much more warm and open to that conversation with you. Now, in every episode of Tanya Eliza TV, you know that I like to equip you with a free resource that will help you in your business. So today, since we're talking about getting rid of the fear and using a couple of tweaks that I'm giving you here to get rid of the fear of going out there and initiating conversations with total strangers in hopes to lead that to a business conversation, I put together 20 of my top favorite prospecting questions that you can use online and social media or offline in person with your prospects. So if you wanna get my top 20 prospecting questions, all you need to do is go over to the blog at tanyaeliza.com forward slash 146 and we will have the resource ready for you. You'll see this video on the blog and then right below this video, there'll be a big yellow button. If you click it, you can get those top 20 prospecting questions absolutely free, download them and use them when starting conversations with your potential new friends. Now I'll also leave you with this because this also really helped me. Network marketing has been a really great excuse for me as an adult to go out there and make new friends. So when I changed the mindset from prospecting or hunting for business to going out there and making new friends, I really truly believe that that's what it has allowed me to do. Not everybody you talk to about your product, service, or business is going to join or buy from you. That's not going to happen. Not everybody is going to make a buying decision with you. But if you approach the conversation with your prospects, your new friends, the right way, genuinely compliment them, ask them and learn about them, find out if there's a need for your product, service, or business. At the very least, even if they say no right now, you might gain a really great new friend that could refer you business or come back to you for business later. If anything, you've made a really great new friend and what is the harm in that? If anything, it will amplify your friends list and your life in so many great ways with with so many great people, at least it has for me in my life as well. And make sure to pick up the free resource that I have ready for you, my top 20 prospecting questions. At the very least, it'll those questions will help you become a better conversationalist and help you to be more confident when going out there and initiating those conversations with total strangers. Pick it up, it's ready for you on the blog at tanyaeliza.com forward slash 146. If you're on my YouTube video, uh, there'll be a link in the description or or on my Facebook above or below this video that will take you directly over to the blog to get that resource. Question of the week. Are there any really good prospecting questions or strategies that you like to use when initiating conversation with total strangers? If you have any good tips, share in the comment section below. I'd love to see what you're doing that's working really well and you enjoy. So did you get some value out of today's episode? I truly hope that you did. Thanks for tuning in to Tanya Eliza TV. If you did get value or you think of anybody else that can use this information or this training, please make sure to share this video and episode with your team by clicking the share or like button above, below, or around this video. And I'll see you on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.